Hey guys, Ashes here. Welcome to the very first episode of Is It Worth Playing? A new show where I'll show you some gameplay, list some pros and cons, and explain how much of your hard-earned cash I think you should spend on a particular game. First up, is Skater XL worth playing? Well that depends. Do you like skateboarding? Or playing skating games in general? Uh, if you answered no to both of those questions, then uh, the short answer is probably no. Not really. Uh, but if you, like myself, like really enjoyed the skate series and spent endless hours in that and even dabbled with skateboarding a bit, the answer is maybe. It's complicated, but we'll get into it, alright? So my first experience with this game uh, was I really didn't like it when I first switched it on because I skipped over the tutorial and I just wanted to jump in like I was playing skate. Uh, and it kind of confused me, and so I wasn't a fan, uh, but when I went back and did the tutorial, uh, and then I realized how it worked, I actually love this. I think it's probably the best feature in the game. So each, each stick controls each foot on the board, as you can see with the controller that's, um, showing up. You can turn that off as well if you like. Um, so, you know, you have to kind of think a bit like a skater, like, you know, if I want to do this trick, I, I gotta move my feet this way. And I think there was definitely... Um, one of the most exciting moments was when I first started, uh, I figured out how to do an ollie. I was like, alright, so then, with the basic knowledge I have of skateboarding, to do, like, a heel flip, I was like, alright, well, so, uh, because I skate goofy, I was like, so I just gotta flip the, the stick to the left, right? And boom, heel flip! And I, I don't think anything will beat those first few minutes of me, like, learning all the different tricks just based on that knowledge. Uh, that was probably the highlight for this game, without a doubt. So I really enjoyed that first little part, but then, as you start getting into and going around, you start to realize that that's that's really all there is. There's like a checklist of challenges, um, but there's no pro progression, there's no story, there's no NPCs, there's no vehicles around, it is just ghost town. There's nothing. It's just a place for you to skate around empty and uh, I think that's it makes it feel lifeless um, and uh, it's a big turn off and then look while I did enjoy those first few minutes of skating as you start to play a bit more you start to feel like the physics well, at least for me they're a bit too floaty they're a bit unrealistic you stay in the air like just that little bit too long and I found myself within only a couple of minutes of playing it doing like quadruple heel flips over a small little gap. Like, it's just ridiculous. And obviously with nothing to do in the game, like, apart from just skating, you kind of want that aspect to be nailed. Like, you want that to feel great. Because, sorry to keep comparing it to skate, because, I mean, that's just what's going to happen. But the reason I spent so much hours in those games just skating around is because the physics and the controls just felt nice. They just felt right and it was enjoyable landing like a tray flip over a gap and you're like, it just felt right. Now like the controls feel cool in this, but I think the physics let it down and you know, there's like bad falling animations and stuff. Your body just kind of goes limp. It's not like a rag doll even. You just kind of just float in space as you sort of fall or trip over things. It's it's a bit weird. And so like, with nothing to do, and then the physics aren't that great, I just got really sick of the skateboarding like really quickly because it just didn't look quite right. You know, like just even an ollie, like you just stay in the air just that bit too much. So that, that kind of let me down. If, if they really nailed that aspect, then I think I wouldn't have been so disappointed with this game because I could just skate around and, and just enjoy it, you know? Just just the enjoyment of skating. But they lost me there. Like, I mean, some pros, they did a really good job of making like realistic, faithful, real-world locations. Um, so there's like downtown LA, uh, the West LA Courthouse, which I just finished watching that movie, the mid-90s. Uh, which is all about, you know, skateboarding in the mid-90s in LA. And after playing this game, uh, and then going uh, and watching that movie, and they're skating at the LA courthouse, I was like, damn, it's like, exactly like that. That's exactly what it looks like. So, I mean, the, their attention to detail on the actual maps, uh, while they are limited, it's not like a massive open world, it's like five sort of you know, okay-sized maps. Um, so, like, their attention to detail was good. Uh... Music wise, um, they nailed the soundtrack. I think like I, it's just something you would see straight out of a skate video. Like a lot of the tracks, really good. Uh, the only downside is there's very few of them, so you'll be hearing them 
a lot. So I found within like half an hour of playing, I'd already sort of switched off the music and just put on Spotify. Um, but yeah, a little disappointing with just, you know, how little there was. Um, customization, like, it's just not there. There's not enough. They like, they were, you know, going on about how they've got real world brands and stuff. They do. And they look good. Like, they look good enough. Uh, but there's just not enough of them. It's like two or three of each brand, if you're lucky. Uh, customization on your character is like, here's generic male, here's generic female. You can choose between four skin colors and a few hairstyles. And that's, that's it. It's, there's not much to it. I think there's even less for female characters. Um, so that was really disappointing as well. Uh, one pro I will say about this is the video edit is quite decent. Like, there's actually a, you know, a bit you can do with cameras and, um, and, uh, you know, trying to make those sort of good looking 90s sort of skate videos. Uh, not enough of video, uh, visual effects though. That's, that's one downside. But I think you can still get a bit of enjoyment if you're one of those people that, like, enjoys landing the perfect line and then editing a skate video. Uh, there is that there for you. So I think, look, like, I think I might just wrap it up here. Like, I think a lot of indie games like like this this might this might get better with updates and as it goes like it is a small company um, but the the biggest problem I had the biggest letdown I had was paying I think I paid fifty five dollars for this on the PlayStation Store which by the way was the cheapest that I saw he had our uh, Big W was selling it for sixty nine dollars and EB Games seventy nine ninety five for an indie game. And so, look, that's where a lot of my issue comes from, is if I had paid 15, 20 bucks for this as, you know, early access indie title, I would have been a lot less dis disappointed. Like, it, it'd be understandable to pay that. But paying almost top dollar, like almost triple A game prices, it kind of falls back to like what happened in No Man's Sky. Not with all the broken promises and stuff, but the fact that they were selling it at you know, a hundred bucks, uh, EB games and everything else. And, and th as if it was a triple A title and it's a tiny studio. So I just think they're punching above their weight a bit with that price tag. And, um, so yeah, to wrap it up, the way I'm going to do these review wrap ups, by the way, is who I'd recommend it to and how much I'd recommend spending on it. So who I'd recommend this to, if, if you're a diehard skate, like skating fan, you skateboard, you love skate culture, and you like, you know, spent ages playing skate series, and you liked just doing the perfect line, editing skate videos, sharing with your friends, then you'll probably still enjoy this, but I wouldn't recommend spending more than 20 bucks on it, because otherwise you're gonna be disappointed at the lack of content. Um, if you're not like a massive skate fan, or and you're a bit unsure, but you're still interested on this one, I'd wait till it goes on sale for like 15 bucks or less or borrow a physical copy from a friend if you know someone that's got it. So yeah, that's it guys. That's the first episode. Tell me what you thought about it if you have played it uh, and let me know what you thought of this video. Leave a like, subscribe um, and I'll try to do more of these. Alright, thanks for watching guys. We'll see you next time. Bye.